Welcome to Properties of Acids and Bases. Today we are going to begin our exploration of acid-base chemistry. Um, it's an exciting, colorful world of chemistry. We can look at um, different indicators, what happens to them in acids and bases, and we get to see a lot of really neat things when we start to look at acids and bases. So first thing we need to do is identify what an acid is. An acid is a compound that produces hydronium ions when dissolved in water. Hydronium ion looks like a water molecule except it has this extra hydrogen attached to it and it has a positive charge. Identifying acids. There are three general properties that we are going to use to identify acids. The first one is that they are sour. Uh, they will taste sour. An example of this would be uh, certain types of fruits. Uh, acids typically will react with metals. And we'll talk about that type of reaction in a little bit. They also have the ability to produce color change in indicators. Sour taste. A uh, sour taste is often a sign that you have an acid. A lot of different fruits, including lemons, grapefruits, limes, oranges, all have citric acid in them. Um, apples, sour apples, are acidic. React with metal. Typically, acids will react with metal. Uh, if you have ever covered aluminum foil over spaghetti sauce, you will notice after a couple days in the fridge that the aluminum will turn dark and your spaghetti might have little flecks of metal in it um, from the aluminum foil degrading and falling apart. This is because the sauce of the spaghetti is actually acidic from the tomatoes. Uh, canning is a place where acidity level is very important. Uh, acetic acid, also known as vinegar, is important to making things such as um, pickled beans, pickles, um, sometimes they're also called dill beans. And the reason we have to do that is to drop the pH below a level where bacteria can live so we can preserve the food. So tomatoes, uh, they're a type of fruit that have acid in them. Uh, when we cover a tomato sauce thing like spaghetti with aluminum foil, we will see a single placement reaction take place. Uh, the reaction I want to study is a reaction with zinc and hydrochloric acid. The zinc will replace the hydrogen to form hydrogen gas and zinc chloride. Color changes. Indicator is any substance that changes color in the presence of an acid or a base. Um, litmus paper, red cabbage, phenolphthalein, bromothymol blue, there's all kinds of different chemical indicators out there that'll tell us whether or not something's acidic or basic. One we are going to look at in class is going to be red cabbage. Red cabbage gives us a really nice scale of color that'll help us determine the pH of something. Typically it'll turn pink to red in an acid and blue and green in base and is a reddish purple, bluish purple to start with. Identifying bases. Base compound uh, produces hydroxide ions when dissolved in water. Now hydroxide looks like water that's just missing a hydrogen and contains a negative charge. Property of bases. Uh, typical properties will be bitter taste, slippery feel, and the ability to change color in an indicator. And since we've already talked briefly about indicators, we're not going to go back and cover that again. Bitter taste. Um, unsweetened chocolate contains a base and will taste bitter. Any bitter tasting food typically has a base in it. Uh, slippery. Soap and many other cleaning products contain base. Um, homemade lye soap is typically made with lye, which is a basic substance. However, slippery does not always mean we have a base. For instance, oil is not necessarily a base, but is slipper, slippery. So don't think just because something's slippery that it is a base. 
uh, that gives us one clue that it could be a base but may not give us the whole picture. Oils belong to a whole different class of chemicals than acids and bases. Neutralization and salts. Neutralization um, is when we have an acid and a base, we pour them together and it forms a neutral compound. Its pH is neutral. Um, the next video will feature the pH scale and we'll get into what neutral really means. However, for our uh, video today we are going to look at neutralization as being uh, negative ions in an acid combining with positive ions in a base to produce an ionic compound called salt. Um, common salt, sodium chloride. The hydronium and hydroxide combine to form water molecules. Here's an excellent example of an acid-base reaction. We are going to put hydrochloric acid with uh, sodium hydroxide. The hydrogen is going to replace the sodium. This is a double replacement reaction. Hydrogen replaces sodium. Sodium replaces hydrogen. So now we have an HOH, which is also H2O, called water. And we have sodium with chloride sodium chloride salt. Uh, there are some other definitions of what an acid or a base is. Um, another definition that can be used is a proton donor being an acid and a proton acceptor being a base. Uh, proton is typically referred to in acid bases as being a hydrogen nucleus, so basically a positive charge without positively charged nucleus of hydrogen without its electron. Uh, we'll save this definition for chemistry more than physical science. Chemistry will get into more of these definitions.